Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were not in attendance at the 2024 Golden Globes last night but still found themselves at the brunt of a savage joke. The Duchess of Sussex was a hot subject before the annual ceremony took place in LA yesterday evening, with one former co-star revealing she's not in the Suits stars group chat. The former royal couple were mocked by host Joe Coy during the comedian's opening speech which also took aim at the rich, white and dysfunctional royal family. He said, Succession has nine nominations. Just a great series about a rich, white, dysfunctional family, all scheming, oh, wait, that's the crown. I'm sorry. Coy then decided to target Meghan and Harry specifically as he made a dig at their lucrative Netflix deal which even left CEO Ted Sarandos laughing, The Express reports. Coy said, Harry and Meghan Markle got paid millions for doing absolutely nothing. And that's just by Netflix. His digs came after former Suits co-stars Patrick J. Adams and Gabriel Mock discussed the possibility of Meghan returning to the show. It has previously been reported that the 42-year-old is in advanced talks over a massive TV comeback as her character of Rachel Zane in the American legal drama. When to push to respond over whether Meghan would appear in any future Suits projects, Adams said, sure. Mike and Rachel in Seattle. They gotta come down to LA, they gotta fix some stuff. Adams added, she's pretty popular right now, to which the ET interviewer then replied, I don't know why. Adams responded, did you hear about Meghan? I'll tell you later. There's been a lot of stuff going on. The Duchess of Sussex was not present when the Suits cast had a mini reunion on stage at the Golden Globes as they presented an award. Suits star Gina Torres, who plays Jessica Pearson in the show, also revealed on the red carpet that Meghan is not involved in the insane texting group chat they have. She said, our text thread is insane right now, so it's very exciting. However, when asked if Meghan was also involved in their conversations, she replied, We don't have her number. We just don't. 